Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Like always, I'm Brian. And up for the second time ever, we're going to be doing a dual unboxing. I've got the Asus PB287, which is basically a 28-inch 4K gaming monitor. I say it's a gaming monitor because it has a 1MS uh, refresh rate. And I have the Gamdius Aegis right here. Why do you think they're going to go together? Find out, and I'm doing it Chanley style. All right, so on order of what I see as importance, I'm going to be doing the big thing first. Little thing's going to go down here on the floor for now, and we'll get back to it. So the ASUS monitor uh, finally got bit by the 4K bug. It was super cheap. It was actually cheaper than the ASUS uh, uh, official gaming monitor, the one with the 144 refresh rate, and it's bigger. So, you know, I like bigger. And I've been needing an upgrade since my monitor's about five years old. I don't know if it's going to crap out soon, but... Uh, I saw this deal and I talked to a couple of my friends, especially uh, Keith. If you go down to my homepage or whatever you want to call it where you can see all my videos, Keith's over in the featured channels. He's the one that really helped me decide that this was a good deal and it was definitely worth my money. And uh, yeah, so I pulled the trigger on that and here it is now. So I'm going to get it out of the box, show you the features and talk to you about how the ages go together. Just in case you guys were wondering, this is the only interesting side of the box. There's really nothing on the other side except for my address is right here and I don't really need random people coming to visit me. So anyway, uh, top of the box is an HDMI cable, an aux cable, a display cable, which this is the one I'm excited about. We got the power cable, random baggie, uh, looks like an instructions, a piece of plastic which we'll get into, the foot pedestal which is actually pretty large but should work just fine, foot pedestal. And now the struggle begins, so I'm going to pause the video again. The monitor is shipped like this in some pretty dense foam. And so it's pretty easy. I do turn it like that. And put that in here. And tighten this down. Pretty easy set up there. The back of the monitor actually has all the buttons from, you know, power over. And like you saw on the front, it gives you an idea of where they are. But these are the physical buttons and they are located on the back. The monitor also has this plastic bezel which comes off fairly easily revealing the power supply, the HDMI 1 and 2, the display ports, we got an audio in and the headphones out and these HDMI ports are mobile high definition, high definition link so I assume that's for like your Amazon plug-in little dongle or whatever you want to call it but then this goes back on really easily to help keep the streamlined look of the case very nice and you know keep your cords covered another thing we talked about earlier is this little plastic piece right here it just goes like this and it locks into place and then you can use that to help um, wrangle your cords and keep everything nice behind your desk so that thing I talked about earlier that I thought was an instructional guide, it's actually the VIP membership notice. Just by purchasing this, you automatically are entered into the ASUS VIP and you get special privileges automatically, which is pretty nice since this thing comes at a pretty high premium. Um, pretty much front bezel, it's about a quarter inch. You've got your handy dandy sticker here which tells you that you've got one millisecond for trace free interaction low blue light which is better for the eyes so you won't have to use things like gunner glasses um, we got flicker free picture by picture where it shows you like it'll show you like one screen here and one screen here so half and half it's pretty cool we have picture in picture so you have your full screen here and a little window there which would actually probably be really sweet for streaming and I'm pretty sure that's what I'm gonna try out I'm gonna have my my console here and my actual stream up in the corner so that I can see what's going on while I'm playing the game if it doesn't hinder me but well you know that sounds pretty cool 
Um, then it also has the tilt swivel. So basically this thing tilts, pivots out like this, and then you can use it in portrait mode instead of landscape. And But you have to tilt it to get it, otherwise it's going to hit the ground. Or, you know, scrape on the surface or on the pedestal, which I've already done a couple of times. Anyway, it is a 4K high definition resolution, so we no longer need the sticker. Yay, buy sticker! Other features that the monitor offers is a 5 degree down tilt, 20 degree up tilt. It does 60 degrees either direction. And depending on what kind of surface you have it on, you can pretty much spin it all the way around because the surface I have mine on is pretty slick. It's pretty slick. Um, I already showed you the swivel to 90 degrees, so that's. And then we have the features down here. I don't have it plugged into anything right now, but you at least get a good idea of what the ASUS logo looks like on 4K. I'm going to go ahead and. Oh, hey, look. Hey, that's pretty cool. It's cycling through. Anyway, and then you got your uh, you got your notification light to let you know if it's on or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and start opening the second box, which is the Gamdius Aegis. And now you're gonna figure out why I need this. So this little baby right here is the Gamdius Aegis, and it claims to be gaming art in motion. Um, the front of the box is pretty nice. You got your little window to see kind of what you're getting. You got your Aegis logo if you can see it in there. Um, Go ahead and look at the specs on it. Uh, it's USB 2.0. Its interface is USB. It is a one upstream port and four downstream ports, which basically means it's a really fancy USB hub. You plug it into one port, you get four ports out of it. It's awesome. Uh, media supports uh, 10 length or 10 meters in length cable. Uh, transmission rates are 1.5 to 12 and 400 megabits, which is pretty decent. DC is 5 volts. Um, it can handle up to 500 uh, milliamps. I can handle 2.25 watts. The dimensions are 17, 178 millimeters by 98 millimeters by 34 millimeters. That sounds really huge for what I'm holding in my hands. That's what she said. Um, cable length is 1.5 meters. That's We'll come back to that. That's two different lengths. Okay. Um, it weighs 51 grams and can handle up temperatures up to 45 degrees centigrade and shouldn't be operated in humidity uh, above 90%. Well, that's going to be kind of awful for me since I live in Florida. It can handle Windows XP Vista 7 and 8, which automatically includes 10. And it needs a P... A PC with a USB port. Hmm, no shit. It's sad that you have to put that on there. So this also includes the multifunction gaming set, multi-language, quick guide, USB cable, and it's a USB to mini USB. And it is a get it also comes with a Gamdia sticker, so probably something that looks like this. Nothing else real fancy to see on the box. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Right, so everything pretty much just fell out the back. We've got 3M mounting strips, um, a guide of how to use it. Oh, it came with two stickers. That's actually pretty legit. I like those. You got your black and your see-through. Yep, see-through. That's pretty sweet. A braided cable USB port. I want to point this out. This is USB to mini firewire. A lot of people don't know that, and they just put mini USB. Mini USB is what you usually get with like your uh, phone chargers. So I don't know if you guys can see the difference on that. One's obviously bigger even from this distance. So go ahead and get this part out. Uh, that is very sealed in there. There we go. And then here we have two more mounting tabs. This is actually for your headset. So that swivels to be able to mount. Um, you mount it this way, a little rubber thing down here. This hole, this can be used to hold your mouse cable if you need it to, or headset, but it's they say mouse. Uh, I don't use a mouse cable because I have a wireless mouse, but that's all right. 
and then here we have your four USBs, the port that leads it to, and I'm assuming a power cable, even though one was not included. So I'll have to figure out what exactly is supposed to go in this hole. Yeah, it says AC adapter slot right there, but I don't see an AC adapter. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, so the AC adapter is not included in the package. Good to know. Glad it's you know, posted right there on the notes in very tiny, obvious print. And it's bolded and italicsed and you know, in a different color, so it's really easy to read. I hope you can see it right next to my finger, because that's pretty much how easy it is to find. That's okay. That's not what I bought it for. This is where the dual unboxing actually comes into play. This is a, a hands down a perfect upgrade, a 99% perfect upgrade to the current monitor I have. It's bigger, it's got better resolution, it's got more ports, except it doesn't have USB ports. So that kind of brings me back, because I have a lot of things plugged into my PC, I actually kind of need the, the hub itself. And I like being able to plug certain things into my monitor, like my webcam here. So that way, when I'm moving it around and stuff, it, I don't have to reach back behind over here, down behind my desk to move my stuff around. It just reach behind the monitor, unplug it, take it where I need to go. Easy day. Um, and this was a lot cheaper than buying a lot of pass-throughs and stuff. Plus, I think it just looks really cool. Um, if you guys are a part of certain mailing groups, they had a a dollar USB hub up for sale but I just I didn't want just something sitting on the ran randomly on my desk and this looked really cool so let's see how it actually works out so that was pretty pretty easy and self-explanatory sticks right in boom easy day it's not exactly the same black but I think it matches really well let's get a closer look for you guys so here's what it looks like up front this swivels like that basically just hang your headphones right here and place them wherever you think is optimum for you and even if you want you can tuck your cord in right there here's a view from the back as you can see this would look fairly easy access right there don't have to worry about struggling with that and once again this swivels Definitely can support a regular headset. I don't know if you guys have any fancy heavy headsets, but this is just a regular Steel Series headset. It works just fine. Now that you guys got a good look of everything and how it's all set up, I'm actually going to install it. So I'm going to shut everything down, swap it all out, turn the camera around, let you guys see my messy ass desk, and how great everything looks all together. All right, so I got everything set up. And just really the first thing I noticed all together is how small the icons were. I actually had to blow these up to about 200% just so that I felt more comfortable with them. They were itty bitty. All of these icons fit maybe this far down on the actual screen. And I know a lot of people say icons are stupid, it looks clutterful, whatever. I got my project stuff here, game stuff here, communication and other things here. Uh, my overclocking stuff here. My wife uses these, and then these are just your random everyday, like Google Chrome and like the stuff I use to clean my PC with. Um, that being said, whatever icons, but that's just real a huge size reference. These used to take up so much more space. There was not really much spacing in between them at all, and I actually had to like bunch them together like in pairs instead of just one line all the way across. So the real estate overall is huge compared to you know. 1080p which also brings me to this this one square is 1080p this is my background that I had and I put it in tile form so you guys could get a better reference of this is for 1080p screens smashed into basically a 28 inch frame so just to give you guys a better idea of the real estate in general this is Facebook and Twitter side by side they're completely readable and it, they fit perfectly um, I know sometimes when you put side by side, they're squished together. You might be only able to see this much, but I can see every single bit of each um, social media at once. Not that I would really need to do that. I would just, you know, use that as an example. I actually use my phone more than I do PCs. But I just wanted to give that as an example of how much real estate you get. And using this for my Adobe, like for video editing, blown out of the water. Even Adobe Premiere Pro on this screen looks amazing. There's so much more real estate 
Now, I know a lot of people do like the split screen thing, but with me, this is plenty of stuff to work with, and then I keep the videos up here, drag them down either into here or right there, and it works perfect for me. I have no issues, and there's plenty of space for everything. Now, I'd just like to step back for a minute about how my personal feelings about how interacting with the monitor and, and having this monitor has changed the way I do things to go back to basically the, the dual unboxing aspect of this, and that's this little Gamdius guy over here. And it's working out really well. So far, I just have my webcam plugged in here, and then it sits where this tab is, and it works out really well. i got three other spaces available, which I haven't figured out what I'm going to use those for yet. But I'm probably going to come up with something. And then, obviously, you know, you get your, your headphone stand, which I didn't think I was going to use. It's... But it's really nice just to have that sitting right there, right where I can grab it. I used to have them like tucked away over here on my mic boom, and they'd fall off all the time or they'd get in the way. And I actually really like them right there, and if I really want to, I can tuck them away even further. But now, actually, I can't because the cords get in the way. Never mind. So I guess that's something to think about, too. If you're going to have cords sticking out the back, having your mic or your headphones back here really might not even work. So you either have them sitting like that, or if you're not using it, you can kind of tuck it away so it doesn't stick out the side. Now just to talk about some of the features over here, we've got, this is your heads up monitor. And the buttons are on the back, I think I mentioned that before. And so we'll go straight into the menu, and then you got things like uh, your color, images, sound, picture in picture, picture by picture, input, settings, and shortcuts. And then obviously you've got your, your, you know, your preset modes for the way the images are displayed. Oops. Now with shortcuts, that's actually these two settings, which is brightness and game, game plus, which I want to show you the game plus. Now we've got the aim point and the timer. So if you're going to, if you're going for like a certain time on a game, you're trying to just really crunch the numbers, you can time it right here. Or you can use this thing called aim point, which is exactly what it is. You either got red or green, and then you've got the circle reticle or the plus like crosshairs. And you can use that when you're playing, you know, your first person shooters to kind of give you the upper edge in the game. The biggest adjustment for me really was uh, the text. Everything is so tiny but so clear at the same time that it took a little bit of adjusting to. And now I don't know if I can go back to a regular screen because it would just look funny to me, if that makes any sense. And also it makes me happy that I didn't do like a gaming edition monitor because I don't know how much the 140 hertz I would really need. And based on my system, I don't even know if I could hit the frames I would need to run that monitor because this is a four-year-old computer. It has two GTX 680s in it, and it was still more than capable of running this monitor at 4K at 30 frames per second, which is what it runs at which is awesome for any games. Even like this example here of um, Aliens Isolation. This looks beautiful. This is the most beautiful game I have ever seen. And this is 4K at 30 frames, and it plays beautifully. Um, I really can't complain. There's no real lag issues. There's no, there's no clipping, and it looks great. My second thing I which I will talk about is the reticle in the center. Um, I don't know if it's cheating or what do you guys think, but that's what this monitor comes with. It comes with an option to put four different kinds of reticles in the dead center of the screen, and for first-person shooters, that can be a game changer. I think it's pretty sweet. I think it's something that is awesome they included in this, and I'm happy they included it because, well, this is my monitor, and I think it's badass. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. Do you think it's cheating if I use this? Or do you think it's just, you know, kind of it gives me... It's, let's say it gives me a proper advantage for the amount of money that I've spent. Now, don't think that the only thing I tested on here was Aliens Isolations. I actually used my uh, Steam Controller. I uh, used the Steam Controller here with a bunch of different games. So if you guys want to check that out... Go ahead and just click on the Steam Controller somewhere in here. It'll be down in the description. You can see my Steam Controller review. But some of the games that I actually tested on here were, let's see, like I used Portal 2. I used Rocket League. I used um, Aliens Isolation. Obviously, I think I already mentioned that. 
I played Diablo with this. I've played uh, Energy Hook, which is another review I'm gonna co that's going to be coming out hopefully soon. And I also did Street Fighter, which honestly I thought was pretty ridiculous. Street Fighter ran at almost 300 frames a second, even on my system in 4K. But there was so much tearing that it just was ridiculous. And it was almost unplayable. Pretty much actually it was unplayable. Um, so some games just aren't really meant to be played in 4K yet. Especially, you know... Street Fighter or Rocket League or maybe even Portal. Nah, well, Portals was okay, but Portals, uh, I don't think my system could have handled in 4K. So I kind of toned that one back just a little bit. But otherwise, everything else is just working fine. Now, really, the smallest, most insignificant issue I've had this entire time is I plugged this guy into a USB 3.0 slot, and it stopped recognizing my camera, which, you know, I use a lot since I'm using it right now. And all I had to do was unplug it, plug it into USB 2.0, resolve the issue, no big deal. Like I said, smallest, most insignificant thing ever, and really I can't even complain about that. It does its job, it does it well, and I like the way it looks. Well, all right, guys, I hope this dual unboxing was helpful to you. Um, if I can find more products that go together really well, I'll keep doing dual unboxings. Let me know what you think. Should I just keep doing single unboxings and just kind of let you guys decide? Or do you like how I kind of mix and match a little bit to give you guys some creativity or projects you could probably follow up with yourself at home? Um, if you like this video, always give it a thumbs up. If you give it a thumbs down, I really, really appreciate if you guys would give me some comments, some constructive criticism of things I could do to make things more appealing to you guys. I do have a lot of links down in the description, so if you want to go there and check those out, there's my social media, go ahead and check me out there. And, you know, we can be social together. Really, I guess the only thing else I can do to wrap this up with is, what am I going to do with these stickers? Should I use the clear one or the black one? I have a black case, and I'm not really sure which Gamdia sticker I want to use. Why don't you guys help me out and put that down in the comments? Where should I put my Gamdia sticker on my case? I'm a huge sticker fan, and really, I don't want to have two stickers of the same one. But anyway, I digress. This was, you know, the dual unboxing of the ASUS 4K monitor and the Gamdeus uh, USB hub done Chanley style.